Lake Tox Velocity Seals is, uh, uh, is caused, caused by, uh, by the bacteria that uh, is closely related to rain levels. So it's transmitted by wild animals, mainly rats and mice, and uh, uh, is a disease that is typical from tropical and subtropical uh, countries. And as I say, it's closely related to rain because it could be transmitted by contaminated water. So in the case of, uh, of big hurricane, uh, uh, big rains, and when you get flooded area, in, in areas that are white animal infected with the bacteria, then you get a high risk of contamination. So in, uh, in, in these three provinces of the eastern uh, side of, of Cuba, uh, they were having an, an epidemic of lectopyrosis in 2007. And the situation was uh, were, uh, aggravated because of the impact of a, a hurricane on this area that causes a lot of fluid area. And then there was a, a, a very dangerous situation there. So, so we decided to go with a homeopathic remedy because of the timing. We, we were running out of time. So, and uh, um, we decided to prepare a homeopathic remedy to prevent lectopyrosis. And we did it and apply it to uh, uh, the, uh, uh, close to 92% of the population of that area. In the, in the next years, we compare the incident of the disease in the uh, region of intervention with the rest of the country. And in fact, uh, there was, uh, well, in the intervention region, there was a significant effect that modified the trends of the, of the disease, modified the incidence compared with the historical levels. Uh, but compared with the rest of the country, uh, the rest of the country have a normal uh, uh, behavior, so the disease was uh, uh, um, under the historical level, so was in the range of the historical levels. And in fact, there was a slight increase of the disease uh, uh, on, on the rest of the country compared with the interven in intervention uh, region that totally decreased below the historical level. There was a, a significant difference between two, the two regions. Every single conventional vaccine has to be delivered in two doses. So, at minimum, two doses. So, uh, in general, there is other conventional vaccine, there is only one single dose. But in general, conventional vaccine, and particularly these electroporosis vaccines, need to be uh, uh, delivered in two doses with a time frame of four to six weeks between each doses. When you uh, get the, the last doses, you need to wait at least 21 days to get to rise uh, a protection, to get a immune response that protects the, the, the individual. So when you uh, calculate all the time, it's a time of three to four months to get real protection with a conventional vaccine. So we, don't, we, we didn't have the time at, at that moment. And the other problem is that we don't have, uh, at that time, we didn't have um, enough vaccines to protect the whole population. We only have enough vaccine to, to, uh, to immunize the, only the 0.1% 0, uh, 0 of the population at risk. So and the time you need to produce these vaccines is three months. So starting today, you need to wait three months to produce the, to produce the vaccines plus three months to get protection, then is half a year. So we didn't have that time at that moment. The point with this is that the vaccines is not intended for the whole population. It's just designed for the uh, group at, at risk. So uh, you need to immunize, according to the uh, National Immunization Program, uh, uh, we need to immunize the people that are at risk. This is the people that are working in the, in the country, uh, uh, dealing with animals and these kind of things. So uh, we get enough vaccine to vaccinate this group at risk. But the problem was that in that situation, all the population become at risk. So we didn't, uh, we, we, there is, was not a reason to, uh, to have this quantity of vaccine for the whole population, just for the group at risk.